UK manufacturing has the real opportunity, especially those companies who are designing the product, to offer guaranteed performance with their product over a long period of time. And that becomes a new service which they can sell to their customer. And that will generate further revenue along with the sale of products. And that's where the future is. And today, 55% of UK manufacturing is actually benefiting from that way of selling service to their customers. And I would like to see that grown. And we have the technology and engineering capability in the country and the skill in the country to support that growth of the business. That's what I'm looking for from the EPSRC Center in True Life Engineering Services. I think it's important to emphasize that the center is a national center hosted by Cranfield University and Durham University. So two universities are looking after the center, but it's open for business with all companies. Whoever is interested, they can ask to get involved with us. And there are different mechanisms. We have feasibility study where companies can even get small amount of money from us to explore a new idea. Can you give, possibly give an example of a company that can well, obvious example is Rolls-Royce, where they have MRO service for their engines within the company. They design the engines at the same time, and they are in a very well-placed situation to integrate the two. And that's integration we are looking at, so that you can give feedback from MRO to design as well as in manufacturing. obvious example is Rolls-Royce where they have MRO service for their engines within the company. They design the engines at the same time and they are in a very well placed situation to integrate the two. And that's integration we are looking at so that you can give feedback from MRO to design as well as in manufacturing. Well, part of what we're doing is we're uh, visiting shows like this um, and uh, talking to people from lots of different industries about how they could get involved in our centre. We have different levels of membership that's suitable for different uh, sizes of business. So really big businesses can come in and join uh, at a much higher level, but uh, smaller businesses can also come in, particularly, <coughs> particularly if they've got... Uh, specific technology challenges that they would like us to help them address. We can do that on a case-by-case -case basis, as well as doing things particularly for uh, getting them into a longer-term relationship with us over maybe four or five years. It is a bit of a challenge, but the, it's a challenge that the successful ones in this chain will have to make, because the uh, old model of just being able to survive on selling spares is going to go. So. Making that transition is important. But the other thing we're doing is we're also getting involved other academic institutions other than Cranfield uh, in looking at uh, challenges in this through life engineering services area and bringing on board new industrial partners, both big and small. So we have uh, finance available for feasibility studies, short term feasibility studies between about three and six months to establish a technology requirements and a big major proposal for funding in these sorts of areas. So that requires both another academic partner, um, generally we're working with ones that are no, not in the centre already, so some examples will be Queen's University Belfast, the Institute for Manufacturing at Cambridge, um, we're also talking to uh, Leeds University, York University as well, uh, on ideas around this. Uh, and we have this funding available to actually build uh, new areas of work in this through life engineering services sector.